welcome to Cabmaster Software. Today we're going to demonstrate Cabmaster Basic, which is the first level of our uh, CNC machining software. So when you start up, it starts up to this screen here, uh, so it gives you the basic details. You can put in some job settings, job numbers, customer's name, whatever you like into here. You can set your default settings, overall kitchen height, ceiling height, wall overhead height, so you can take this to whatever you like, base cabinet height, kickboard height, then your standard depths. And you can hit apply, which is for this job, or you can actually set as default, which will save these settings for the next job and any subsequent job from that point onwards. You can also go through your construction, how do you set your backs and ends, things like that. Do you, is your back pinned on? Is it between ends? Uh, and also your machining. You can specify, um, you know, do you want a screw, do you want a nail or cam or whatever you want to do with it. You can specify those in there as well. But once you're done, hit OK, then you're ready to go. Now this has a fairly simplistic screen on it. Uh, well, that's why it's called basic, trying to make things as simple as possible. To go back to the first page, drawing properties, that will bring us back to where we were in the, in the uh, beginning. You've got a couple of different ways to choose cabinets. So you can go through this list here, pull out the whole list, and you can see what they look like graphically. Or you can actually go and choose from this list over the side here, which is sometimes a little bit easier. I like this personally. It depends what you prefer. Uh, so you've got floor, wall, and tall. So I want a floor, standard. So a floor, two door, and you can just double click on that, and it brings up the properties for that cabinet. You can stretch it out. You can see the cabinet here. So it's very interactive. You can change the size of the cabinet, so let's say it's 750. Now the height, depth, and kickboard height came from the very first screen. They came through, so if you set in your set heights and uh, depths and things in there, that'll automatically filter through to the cabinets from that point onwards. Uh, you can then change them here if, if one cabinet's different from everything else. Um, you can go through, change how many shelves do I want, things like that. So a gap between cabinet and wall, avoid. Um, the rail, is it flat, is it on edge, so you can see how it changes now to on edge and back to flat again, so you can see it behind the bench top there. Um, number of shelves, things like that. But once you're happy with whatever you, you've just done with the cabinet, you press F12 and it adds it to the list in the background. So you can see it's added it to the list. Uh, you can also set up pricing as well, which is another area we can play with at another time. But you can set standard pricing for cabinetry and you can specify the price on the, on the width and increase price when it's above a certain size as well. But once you've pressed F12, it then comes back to the screen again and you can type in another dimension, F12 again, and then you're ready to go. You can, and so it's very quick and easy when you've got a, a list of cabinets to go through there and you can go choose the next one. So now I want to choose something like a, a three drawer cabinet. So I double click on that. I'm now ready for a three drawer cabinet. So I want my width to be say 555. Now with drawer cabinets, again, this is a basic library, but it's still very comprehensive in what you can do. You can come in here under the drawers tab. I can say I want my top drawer to be 185 millimeters high, drawer front. The second one, 225. And the third drawer, or the bottom drawer, is whatever's left over. So it makes sure it uses the entire door. So you can't get anything, um, you can't mis misalign anything. You can also come through here and choose from a range standard metal standard or metal premium. And there is over a thousand runners. There's a whole range of different types of runners in here. And you can come in here and choose whatever whatever runner it is you like. So this time, let's choose something. Uh, um, let's go down to a summit. There we go, an 86 mil dynamic. So it changes the draw. You can also change the depth of that runner. And whenever you choose a runner in this list, it automatically gives you the depths that are available for that runner type. So you can see automatically that top one is very different from the next two down. Um, if you keep a standard that's a timber box, timber sides box. You can also control the height of that box. So let's make this 120. So you can see the box height is now 120. The bottom one's 246. If you don't like that, make it whatever size you like. It will automatically add in the machining for the drill holes, whichever runner you choose. So you can have three different runners. You'll have three different layouts for drill holes. So say for a basic library, it is still very comprehensive for what you can do with it. But once you've done, with, done whatever you want to do with that cabinet, Again, press F12, it will then add it to the list of cabinets um, that you want to output to your machine later on. Now you can go and reset everything here, just go bang, it resets everything back to the ways that, way they should be. Standard heights and depths even equalizes everything. Um, again, there's a whole range of different uh, different types of runners in here, so it's going to go for a single extension, hayfly. Um, 
that's got a few more runners in it, a few depths available, so I changed that one just for the fun of it. F12, let's add that to the list as well. And you can keep going through all of your cabinets that you want. You can put in your fillers, say an end panel. I want an end panel, but I want to take it to floor. And it needs to be flush with doors. Very simple. Tick the box, hit F12, add it to the list. So you can see in the background there's my list. It's 16 mil thick. If you're not sure what you want it to be, um, well you can match your, panel, match your door material, match panel material, um, where do you want edging to be on it, things like that. Uh, underbench ovens, um, kickboards, um, corner cabinets. Again, there's your corner cupboard. Um, if you want to make this not even, let's say this is going to be 900 by uh, 978 as an example. It needs to fit into an area. So you can see that's 978, 900 on one way. Um, you can change the angle if you don't want it to be. You can and, and actually build the, the base and the shelf to whatever angle you specify. Um, and obviously all your machining and all that sort of stuff is done as well. F12, again, um, if you need a corner filler, you can grab one of those. Whatever angle, whatever sizes you like for one of those. Um, tall cabinets. Pantries, pantry with drawers. So you grab one of these. So you can see what it is. Fantastic. So um, again, nice and easy. This is only going to be 450. It's only a small one. Add it to the list. Microwave. Sorry, microwave is the next one down. It's a microwave with two doors and two drawers, or three drawers. So you just specify whichever cabinet you like. When you're happy with it, you press F12, it'll add it to the list. Um, wall, oven, microwave, drawers, this is a good cabinet. So that should be 600 wide, not 700. Um, fantastic, you can specify the drawer section height. So you might want it as, say, 550. So that's the drawer section height. Then you've got your oven section height. That might be 600 and, say, 600 or 620 is might more to the point. Um, you can specify in the options as well, your microwave section height, that makes that 350. You can specify the depth as well, add ends, you can add ends to the micro to the oven section microwave. As a very comprehensive what you can do with this, this library, even though it's such a um, basic library, when you get into our full premium one, you can do a whole lot more than this, but this will get quite happily get you running and you can build standard, standard um, kitchens that's what this is designed for just standard cabinets and standard kitchens this will get you going quite happily um, it builds standard cabinets without any worries and then once you finish with your tall cupboards you can go to your overhead cabinets and again you've got uh, split cabinets that sit on your appliance cupboards for your bench you got overhead cabinets um, end panels microwave cabinets for appliance cupboards range hoods um, depends what you want to do wine racks and again, we can bring up the wine rack. You can specify the size of the wine rack. How many? How many do you want to go? So let's go by three by three, and you can see what that wine rack looks like now with say three by three divisions or three three holes by three holes. F12. So there's my <coughs> my list, and you can calculate prices quite happily. So as you add it in, it adds in the total price of your cabinets that you're adding into it. Now the way to get your pricing set up, and it's going to quickly jump back into this one. You go to your drawing properties, um, there's a page called pricing down here. Now what this does, this gives up gives the list, I'll make this bigger, this gives you the list of every cabinet in your library. So for example a floor two door, you can come in here and say, so the current pricing, see what it is at the moment, um, the standard width is 950. So the current price is $200 plus $40 for every extra 50 mil above 950. So if you make that that cabinet one meter wide, it's going to cost you two hundred and forty dollars. Uh, one point well, one one meter and ten, it'll be two hundred and eighty dollars because it's going to add on forty dollars twice for every fifty mil above nine nine fifty. So you can do that for every cabinet. So you work out what your pricing is. So even say again with a basic package, and if you want to update it, so okay, the kickboard angle, uh, so that's really going to be seventy five dollars plus an extra. 20 for every 50 millimeters above that size update price that's now fixed that's how you set the pricing again very very simple to use uh, it's a fantastic program you've got this list here once you've got your list complete you can say to save the drawing and then press f8 and it'll send out all your dxf files for nesting in easy nest 
but if you need to go and make a change, you can save this job, you can come back into it later on, and all you do is you double click on that cabinet, and it comes up with those properties, whatever we set beforehand, and you can go and change that, so it now needs to be 752, I've done a check measure, I need to change something, fantastic, that's all you need to do, click on the next cabinet, and let's make change that one, so once you've done done one cabinet, you can quite happily jump into it, do the next cupboard, and again, you can still see exactly what you're going to get out of it, um, pantry, three three draw. Again, you can change your draw heights and draw runners per draw. Um, you can c click under here, change my draw box height, change my draw runner types, do all those sorts of things quite happily. Um, if it's not quite right, well, that one's need to be bigger. It actually needs to be 525. Fantastic. Everything's parametric. It adjusts automatically. It makes it really simple. So it's a, a very comprehensive, very simple program to use. Sa hit save. Save your job. When you're happy with that, press F8. This will now produce all the DXF files needed for every every piece on every one of those cabinets. So it makes it very uh, very simple to use. Then you just go nest it in Easy Nest, which takes uh, that's about four button clicks. Again, very simple to use. And then it's all finished. You're ready on the machine with the labeling, um, with edging details. All that information goes through. Then we just produce 145 DXFs. So all that sort of information goes through to your CNC, uh, and they'll get you running quite happily. You buy a new CNC, you buy Cabmaster Basic, we'll get you running up and run um, no time at all. Thanks so much for your time.